Just uh, showing the roof rack that I've made for this uh, two meter by, or just over two meter by, just over one meter solar panel uh, with a just over 400 watts, I think, 420 watts. The um, roof rack's made out of uh, aluminium. Uh, I've made it myself uh, as, I, as I'm a welder, was a welder. Uh, it's all very secure, but the the way of fixing the roof rack to the Fiat Ducato or Ram Pro Master uh, was a was a bit tricky. I couldn't find anything uh, in the UK, at least, that uh, any brackets that that fitted to these mushroom style mounts on the that are pre-fitted on the van, and they're a bit odd or not odd, but they, they work by, you have to fit fit something around them. So I made up this uh, angle line with another strip on it, and then a cutout that fits around the lug. And then somehow that has to be pulled up to get a fixing on that, on that sort of mushroom style top hat so what I did first was get some this is old outro flooring uh, something just to protect the van and then these lugs slip over the top hat uh, and then I made up this uh, stainless steel 30 by 30 or well from 30 by 30 stainless steel tube uh, then made this um, attachment which slots over the um, the other bit which then allows me to uh, pull pull up yeah I hope I'm explaining this uh, correctly it pictures paints a thousand words so so that then gets pulled up underneath the top of the box section which in turn pushes the box section down and that gives the bearing on the on the top of the uh, roof. Uh, I had to make up a spacer because the roof rack ended up not being quite high enough as there's a a dome in the roof or a bow in the roof uh, the the bottom of this roof rack ended up being too close to the center so I had to make up some spacers then these these nuts bolts uh, fit through the holes and they they pick up on well, I didn't actually show you that they pick up on these threaded connection nuts, which I've welded to the inside of the stainless steel. Uh, so as they're clamped, clamped down through, they, they pick up on there, pull, pull this, or they try and pull this up, but in fact, push this down which in turn pushes the the stainless steel boxing down onto the roof hmm, yeah uh, it took me a while to work that one out uh, I couldn't see anything that um, anything on the market uh, that was a, an easy fix so ended up making this myself well, I hope that uh, helps uh, somebody. Uh, and it's probably not very well explained, but hopefully you all get the idea. Um, so spring washer and standard washer. And then that goes, that goes through. And as you... As you tighten this down, it 
pulls that, that connecting nut up, but, but forces all this down so you get a really, uh, a really strong, really strong uh, roof rack mounting bracket. Yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, and that's the, that's the roof rack. It's had to, it's had to sort of straddle in between the, the two vents front and back and the shower vent over there uh, and the, the solar cables going through the roof there. Uh, I'll be putting uh, some sort of fairing uh, along the front there just to direct wind up and over this lot. Um, probably not very big but uh, just, just to help direct the wind over. Uh, and I'll just show you quickly the insulation which I've done. The spray insulation. Now, everybody said, or well not everybody, but a lot of people have said it bows your van or doesn't bow your van, one way or the other. Well, they're, they're both right. Um, it doesn't really, uh, but it does a bit. Now you've got to be a bit careful how you spray it. A thin, brick, you have to do it quickly. You have to do a thin layer with a with a wide nozzle, uh, and then let that expand. And then, if you need to, go over it again with a, a second layer. Very, very difficult to get into all these cavities. Uh, takes a takes a while. I didn't do it in one hit. Uh, I did a load, and then. Uh, left it uh, and then used another nozzle, had a bit of a breather, got another nozzle and then carried on. There were enough nozzles to to go over it quite a few times. So yeah, I'm, I'm not too dissatisfied with it. It's, uh, it's okay. It does make a bit of a mess, not too much. But let's see if I can show you what the what the slight waviness is on the outside uh, you might yeah there we are you can just see it just above that plywood if you get it just in the right light you can see slight deformation here and there uh, it's, it's not enough to worry me. As soon as you come away from it, you can't see it. It disappears, almost. So that doesn't worry me. But if you if you are really really precious, then you might not want to use spray foam. But it's very 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 faint. You know, once you come away from it a bit, you've got to get it just in the right light. And along the, along these other panels, I can't really see it. Maybe, maybe a fraction there. It seems to be, it seems to be either side of a, of a, a rigid upright inside. But anyway, there we are. If you're interested in spraying it yourself, you might find that uh, that happens. Okay, cheers.